Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. Today we are doing a contemporary artist lesson that's focused around expressing oneself through abstract art as a community. So we're gonna be looking at two different artists. The first artist is Jane Pryor, and the second artist is Angela Millmaker. On the left, we can see one of Jane Pryor's paintings titled, And If You Say Hide. And in this painting, you can see that she uses a bunch of colors and lines and all sorts of different techniques to create her composition. And Angela Millmaker's painting, The Garden Tea Party in White, you can see that she also uses different lines, kind of flower shapes, organic shapes, colors, and also she uses a drip technique to create her compositions. And both these artists use all these different techniques of line, shape, and color to express how they feel on the inside, which is what we're going to be focusing on. So to take a deeper look into Jane Pryor's work, we can see one of her paintings on the left titled If You Say Run. And in this piece, you can see that she uses a bunch of warm colors, which are orange, yellow, red, and pink. And that suggests that she's maybe feeling warm inside, and she also has this chain link of shapes and lines that she uses in her piece, which are particularly interesting, and they really show what she could be feeling during this moment. And to the right, you can see her other piece titled Your Time Has Come Too, which focuses on this big blue shape against the pink background, which really contrasts against one another. And then she has this orange color at the bottom, so she's still using warmer colors like she is in this, but then she also has this cool color of blue. And so this makes me think that she's using this shape to really express how she's feeling on the inside, which is what we're going to be doing while we're working on this community mural. To take a deeper look into Angela Millmaker's work, you can see in her piece on the left titled Winter Sparkle, she uses all different types of colors like greens, purples, she uses more cool colors on the left one, and she also uses this S graffito technique, where she basically scrapes away the top layer of her paint to reveal the white canvas underneath, which is a really fun and also cool technique to work with, especially in abstract art, and you're trying to express how you feel. So Angelica uses a bunch of fluid lines, it looks like, in this. So it looks like she's feeling really loose in this painting. And then on the right, her painting titled The Mini Garden Party in Green. She uses all, she also uses a lot of cool colors, but in the back you can see a couple of these warmer colors like this pink and the red. And she uses these shapes that are similar to her first one that I showed on the first slide in these organic flower looking shapes. And she also uses this drip technique and splatter paint technique to really express how she's feeling in her connection to the world around her. She said that she uses this drip technique to really express her connection to the whole life cycle inside of the environment and inside of her life as well. So we're really going to be looking deeper into ourselves and what we like aesthetically as people and what we can connect to, like how Angela uses these drips and more organic techniques to express how she's feeling. So I did something similar to this with another group, and it was so much fun, let me tell you that. In the first image on the left, you can see that the students are just getting started on this piece, and they're getting hands, hands-on involved. All of them are using gloves to smear the paint around, really get a feel of it, and really start to work their emotions into the piece physically with their hands. And in the middle piece, you can see that someone put this squiggly S line down the middle, which really brought everything together and turned out really cool in the end. And everyone is kind of adding on and contributing to everyone else's work that they put on this. So it's really a collaborative piece. You have to feel free, open to other people modifying your work, and you also have to feel open to modifying other people's work to make it a really like strong community-based piece that involves everyone's personal emotions, but all in one display. And on the image on the far right, you can see 
the escrofito technique being used, and then some of the drip technique that Angelica used as well. And if you look closely, you can really see all these different colors that everyone used and how all the paints interact with one another and how they applied paint and scraped it away. And it really shows a process of how everyone was feeling in this moment. So I first drew up some different examples of different shapes, lines, colors, and different ways that you can think about using abstract art to express yourself overall. So up here you can see all these different shapes, some different lines. You can use lines and shapes together. You can use any colors. So for this project, you're going to be able to choose from three to five colors, which is going to give you the opportunity to do that. And before we get started, we're going to fill out this template that I created for everyone. So everyone is going to draw some different shapes, lines, and colors similar to how I did on that last one. Oops. So you do different shapes you possibly want to use, different lines you possibly want to use, and also some different colors you're thinking about using as well. And you're really going to think about what shapes, what colors speak to me as an individual. How can I express myself by using these abstract principles to create this community-based art? So we're going to fill out this template. And you can use different colors, you can try out different techniques, different lines, you can you try out the graffito technique. And with this template, you'll be able to take this when we go to work on the final big mural piece together. You can look at this as a reference to see what colors and shapes that really suit you as an individual. So first we're going to start out by gessoing the canvas with this white gesso that really gives it a good base layer. And we don't want it to be too thick or else it'll take a really long time to dry. And that's just something that we are looking to avoid. So like I said before, everyone will get to choose from three to five different paints. These were the five that I chose to work on my piece just because I was thinking about which colors really suit me as a person. These are some of my favorite colors. I love yellow because it expresses the way I feel on the inside just happy and joyful. And then the light pink, just also very lighthearted. And then the blues and the turquoise also really suit me personally because I think about all these colors combining together and I really see myself suiting that. So we can use one technique, which I found really fun, is you put globs of paint onto the canvas itself and then you use your glove to kind of smear them together and you get this really cool effect of just smudging the paint around, getting to feel how it is. And in this moment, I was feeling pretty loose, pretty good, pretty happy. So I started off with these colors. You can also paint on the canvas directly. This will give you a more smooth transition, whereas this one's kind of choppy, more energetic, where this one, if you're feeling kind of loose, relaxed, you can paint it on and kind of feel the paint and how you are feeling and connect that to your own emotions. I personally really like the smearing with your hand technique because you get to physically work with the paint with your hands instead of just feeling it through the brush. You can even do both. I actually use both on my painting because I was feeling... I was feeling a little bit fluid with my lines, but I also felt a little bit chaotic, so I used these choppy lines. So this was the this is the escrofito painting technique that I was talking about when I was discussing Angelica's works. And here you can see that I'm using the tip of a paintbrush to kind of scratch away the t the top layer of the paint, which leaves the clear like the white canvas below, which gives it a really really awesome look, especially you could see like all the different paints moving and interacting with each other around the canvas. So using this technique is definitely really helpful and it can help you lead into what you're feeling as an individual for this project. We really want to focus on how we're feeling on the inside and how how we can display those emotions on a canvas. I was feeling pretty fluid, loose, happy, so I drew these flowing lines that really described how I was feeling. And so this is a finished piece that I did 
And here you can see all different kinds of lines. You can see all the fluid lines. Here you can see more angry lines. If you're feeling angry, you can like really scratch that out. And then up here you can see some more fluid lines, some different shapes, and how I also use the paintbrush up here to smear it all together. Overall, while I was working on this piece, I was having a lot of fun and I really was trying to express how much fun and how much joy I was feeling in this moment. And to give you a closer look at these examples, on the left in this picture, you can see more fluid, relaxing lines that I used to kind of express how I was feeling in the moment. These curvy, flowing lines, and also the smears of the yellow, and all that stuff. If you smear it too much, though, you'll get this like kind of grayish brown color from all the colors mixing together. So I would avoid smearing it a lot, but if that's the look you're going for, if you're feeling kind of gray and musty at the time, go for it. It's all about what you're feeling as an individual. And then on the right here, you can see more angry lines being used. I used a lot of like ferocious scratching and just really trying to get my emotions out on the paper to see how I was feeling at that time. You can experiment with these two different flowing lines that are on the left, or you can experiment with the scratching lines over again and just really see which one works for you as an individual. So yeah, I'm really excited to see everyone's community mural. I can't wait to see it.